to Loudoun County Public Library's yoga time. This is beginner's lesson number two, focusing on the animals of the savanna. This morning, let's think about a rhinoceros, which is one of the animals on the African plain. It's strong, and so that will be our theme today, strength. There are two kinds of strength. There's an outer strength, as the rhinoceros has, with its muscles, it's a very powerful animal. There's also the inner kind of strength that we all should have also, and that's of our mind. We should be set and focused on what we want to do, not wavering, but just being calm and focused. That's our inner strength. So sit down on your mat or towel in an easy seat, that is with your knees over your opposite foot as your legs are crossed and your hands resting by your knees. Sit up as tall as you can. We're going to take some rhinoceros breaths, two rhinoceros breaths. And let me demonstrate, please, first, and then we'll do two together. So for a rhinoceros breath, you breathe in deeply through your nose, into your belly, and hold it for a couple of seconds, and then you kind of grunt as you breathe out through your mouth. So let me demonstrate. <sighs> Let's do two together. Excellent. Now we're going to use a rhinoceros pose to start our, the movements of our spine. So let's get into tabletop position. Only for today, we're gonna to call it rhinoceros position. We have our back flat. We have our knees under our hips and our hands under our shoulders. And we make our, our spine just as long as possible. A couple of breaths here, not rhinoceros, but just regular yoga breaths in and out through your nose. Now, as we breathe in, we're going to sway our back. That is, our hips are going to come up and our back is going to scoop down. This I like to think of as being a water buffalo pose. And as we do this, we're going to breathe in. Okay, so we're in rhinoceros. Breathe out. As you breathe in, be a water buffalo. Sway your back. Now as we breathe out, let's arch our back and pretend we're a cheetah. Our hips come down and in and our back arches up, just like a cat. Now breathe in, sway your back down, your water buffalo. Breathe out, arch your back, now you're a cheetah, ready to run. Good job, one more time. Breathe in, sway back and breathe out arch your back excellent let's think about other animals we might find on the plane of Africa and possibly we could find an anteater I like to think of this as the anteater pose we're still in the rhinoceros pose or tabletop position but we're going to take our right foot and we're going to cross it over and bring it out as far as is comfortable for you. And then we're going to kind of look back at it. This is a side bend, sort of like an anteater. Let's take two regular yoga breaths here. Whatever we do on one side, of course, we have to do on the other. So bring your knee back and let's bring the other foot out to the side and look back at it and two regular breaths here. Good. Come back. 
back to rhinoceros position. Now we're going to pretend that we're armadillos. So let's raise up our right arm and kind of look up at your hand. Everything else stays the same. Two knees and your left hand are the same. And now we're going to bring your hand down underneath your arm that's already anchored on the mat. And now we're going to bring it back up. And as we bring it back up, breathe in. And as we swing it down, breathe out. One more time. Great, let's do that on the other side. Our armadillo twist. Ready? tabletop or rhinoceros position. Let's just sit back on our heels and stretch out here. Just to get a nice stretch. Great. Come back into rhinoceros position. And as we do this, we're going to come up on our fingertips and on our feet so that we can stand up. And everyone stand in the middle of your mat. Okay, now we're going to pretend we're an acacia tree. As you can see in the background, acacia trees are kind of broad at the top, so they kind of go out like this. And if you remember how to do a tree, you stand with your feet apart in mountain position and we're going to turn beginning with our right leg we're going to turn our right leg out we're going to put it up on our shin or if you want to just bring your heel over to your left leg then we're going to lift our hands and we're going to flop them out like this and be acacia tree Acacia trees are what giraffes eat. They eat the leaves, and I believe they eat the bark too. A couple of nice breaths here. And back to our mountain pose. Let's be acacia trees on the other side. Turn your left knee out. Either bring it up to your shin like this, or just bring the heel over to your right leg. Raise your arms up, kind of like so, like wings here at the top. And two nice yoga breaths. Very good. Now we're going to pretend like we're giraffes. So what do giraffes do when they walk around on the plain? They're looking for food. And as I said, they eat the leaves on the acacia tree. So let's be tall like a giraffe. And let's pretend that our arms are the long neck. And up here at the very top, is our head with our mouth open wide to eat. You can go like this with your hands, opening and closing them. And let's breathe deeply here twice. Good, bring your arms back down. Now we're going to pretend like we're Oryx. Oryx are a type of antelope and they have long horns. So we're going to do a position where let's stand with the length of our mat like this and 
we're going to take our, our left foot back two or three steps, but not move our right foot. So left foot comes back two or three steps, and we're kind of like this. Now we're going to bring our arms up, and as we do, we're going to bend our front leg at the knee, and we're going to raise our arms up like this. This is kind of like an oryx. They're very tall, too. Let's come back, straighten our legs, and bring our arms down. Let's do this as we breathe. So we're going to breathe in, we're going to raise our arms up as we bend our front knee, and then we're going to bring, as we breathe out, we're going to bring our arms back down. Okay, are you ready? Breathe in. And out. And in, and out. Bring that back foot up, and we're standing in mountain pose, facing the front of our mat. Let's step our other leg back. Your right leg, ready, back two or three steps. Here we go. Make sure that both of your hips are facing forward, your knee is just slightly bent. We're going to do the same thing on this side. As we breathe in, we're going to bend this knee like so and raise our arms up. Okay, are you ready? Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. into mountain pose and then turn and face the side of your mat. Have your legs a little bit greater than shoulder distance apart but with your toes facing the front of your mat. We're going to imagine that we're in pause and the way we're going to do this is we're going to rotate the toes of our right foot on the heel, we're going to turn the toes without moving the heel towards the front of the mat. Now you notice as you did that, your hips went from this way, and I'm going to show you with my hands here, to this way. They're not facing straight towards the front of your mat, but they're facing on a diagonal towards the corner of your mat. As we do this, we're going to raise our arms up as we bend the front knee. Okay, and then we're going to breathe out and straighten back up like this. All right, so here we are, and we're gonna breathe in, and we're gonna breathe out, and breathe in, And breathe out. Very good. Rotate that right foot back. And now we're going to, without moving the heel, rotate our left foot towards the back of the mat and do the same thing on this side. Notice your hips went from straight to the side of your mat towards the diagonal. Ready? Breathe in. And out. And in, and out. Excellent, rotate back around. Let's bring our legs even farther apart and kind of turn your toes a little bit out from straight towards the side of your mat so they're facing the corners. And then I want you to bring your arms up like this. This is like a star. It's a five-pointed star. You have your head, your two hands, or arms and hands, and your two legs and feet. Our sun is a star, too. So let's think about this as also being the sun pose. Take a couple of regular yoga breaths here and just hold this pose. Now we're going to bend from 
our waist. So put your hands on your hips like this and bend forward. And as you bend forward, stretch your arms down towards the mat and clasp them. That means hold your hands together. And this is the elephant pose. What do elephants do as they walk along with their trunks hanging down? It kind of swings like this. Just breathe steady here and swing your trunk back and forth. Okay, your hands are touching the mat. Put them over on your legs and wiggling your fingers, stand up straight. Let's think about how we can get down to our mat where we can lay down on it. One of the ways to do that is to, let's turn to the side and stand in a mountain pose, is to raise our hands up high as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, lower them down to the ground, bending your knees. Now we're gonna further take our knees to the mat. And then we're just gonna stretch out on our bellies. Take your hands, put them one on top of each other in front of you like this and just rest your forehead on them. Sometimes this is called the crocodile pose. You know there's lots of crocodiles in the lakes on the savannah. Something you have to be very careful of. A couple of nice yoga breaths here. Just totally relax. with your hands out in front of you like this. And then gently push up so that you're on your hands, your elbows are bent, and you have a sway in your back. Look up, look forward, and this is called the cobra pose. There's cobras also. Easy yoga breaths here. Come back down on your forearms. Let's just roll on to our backs. that we can do is our baby chimp pose. Let's think about being a baby chimp and just curl up like this. And now we're going to stretch out and we're going to totally relax. Let's imagine that we're baby chimps and we're nestled in the grass on the savanna and we're just going to sleep. We're just going to relax. But before we shut our eyes, let's see if we can smell that sweet acacia that's all over. I understand it smells kind of like honey. So can you smell a honey smell? And can you hear the wind rustling through the acacia leaves? Imagine that. And look up and think about the sun shining down on you and making you all warm and cozy in the grass. And 
and just gently shut your eyes, totally relaxing. Big breath in and sigh. Mm. Remember to take yoga breaths in down to your belly and out through your nose too. Now that we're rested, you can blink your eyes open and of course you'll see the sun shining And can you hear the leaves rustling and smell the honey smell of the acacia leaves? Let's go back into our chimp position. Put your feet on your mat and hug your knees. Bring your head up. Oh, give yourself a squeeze. As you breathe out. Now breathe in, lower your feet down, and roll on your mat to your right side. You have to kind of shift your hips, come over on your mat, and stay curled up. You can put your hands under your head like a pillow. Let's sit up by taking our left hand, putting it on our mat, stretching out our left leg, pushing ourselves up. And we're back in our easy seat position. Feet under our knees, hands on our knees. As we come back to this position, let's think, are we stronger now? Are we stronger with our muscles because we've used them a little bit? And are, is our, are our minds stronger? Are they more focused and more calm and more determined? I hope so. Let's take a couple more rhinoceros breaths. Ready? In. joining Loudoun County Public Libraries for yoga time. See you next time. Bye.